YouTube Zodiacs, what's going on? It's your favorite Gemini cast, the Gemini. I am back with another video, back with a review of the Blade on Throne. Now this is a custom statue by Imaginary Concepts. Um, I think the statue itself is very good. You know, for, for, as far as the concept, you know, I definitely wanna say it's very well thought out. You have played on throne. You have some blood pouring up here, as you guys can see. Look at that puddle of blood. Oh my God, the puddle of blood there, rushing down across Wesley. To me, blades of Wesley's nice portrait right there, as you guys can see. You got the blood running down, splattered here, coming the fountain of blood spewing down all the vampire corpses from who he's been able to dismember and take down. Now this does come with three portraits. You have the blade portrait, you have the Ali portrait, you have the comic portrait. Um, and then he also has a, a, le a right arm swap out as well that's holding a severed vampire head. Uh, before we do get to the switch outs, I do like the presence that the blade on throne does have. Um, it is a little finicky to go ahead and get in. You have to be very careful and everything like that. Um, so just pretty much just remember when you're putting him in, he has to, he's he's sitting more at an angle more than anything. Um, but you know, overall, I do like the statue. I definitely think it's great. I think adding the Wesley portrait is. I just feel like Wesley is just so iconic to this character. To where it's like the one character that almost passes for Kingpin. To where like. We know Wesley more than we actually know the Blade comic himself, if that makes sense. It's just so iconic. It's like one of that those like original Marvel movies, you know, kind of like the thing that started it all in 1998, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, love the character, love the statue, the presence. I like the, the golds, the, the dark gray blacks, along with the red spewing out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the different swap outs before I show you guys the back. And uh, see what you guys like, man. But yeah, here it is. Wesley Snipes Blade on Throne. Here's to the swap outs. Let's go. All right, so here's swap out number one. You have his uh, right arm holding the blade. Or excuse me, not the blade, but you have his right arm holding the severed vampire head, which is honestly looking really, really great. Uh, detailed there you can see where you know the the marks for the blade has uh, this barmer the head uh, you can definitely see the imprints here on the head as it sits in there um, got to put the arm back here it's very finicky how it does rest so the engineering on this sword to the arm is the only thing that does kind of bother me and stuff like that um, and also you have uh, this weapon right here blades that just kind of goes in here uh, there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the portraits so you guys can see the other portraits. Uh, this is the Ali portrait right here. So I'm not a fan of this, of the new blade personally, but we'll give them a chance. And then this is the comic blade. I'm not sure if this is like Midnight Suns of the game or the comic blade, but there you guys have it. As you guys can see, um, there's that. And then here's the Ali one next to the blade, next to uh, Wesley, as you guys can see it there. There's that. I prefer using the Wesley or the comic personally, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna show you guys the back of it, and then we'll okay, show some pictures. So this is the back here of the blade on throne. Um, as you guys can see, starting all the way at the top, you have those spikes there on the throne as the blood is running down, spewing it down. Look at the richness of the reds there going all the way down as you guys just especially saw in the front so they're basically traveling from here it's kind of like flowing like it's oxygen going all the way up here and remember uh what you guys can see here with that blood that's spewing down into his uh into his throne so you have the skeletons all throughout the back again it's a lot of mixtures of uh golds um uh kind of dusty gray um, you know, your, your black, your charcoal blacks, your, like, like hues of purple, 
uh, things like that. It looks really, really good. Um, the only knock that I truthfully have on the statue is just the engineering as well as the size. This is not a true one-fourth. It's more of a one-fifth, one-fourth tweener. Doesn't look too bad because he's sitting down, so it doesn't show as much, but it's definitely not true to scale. So that is one thing that I would truly say, hey, I wish they had a bit better. Um, but overall, I do like the statue. I don't love it. I like it. Um, would I ever buy from this uh, custom company again? Heck yeah, I most definitely would. Um, I would just be more selective into what I am buying because they have produced other stuff such as their Wolverine uh, versus Omega Red and it's turned out exceptionally well. Just to give you guys a side, side panel there, it's crazy. Looking really good. Um, if you guys have not hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button, thumbs up the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's your boy Cast the Gemini. Um, hey, cash out, baby. Cash out.